Our first guest tonight is a Grammy-nominated comedian who is hosting Saturday Night Live this week right here on NBC with musical guest Foo Fighters. Please welcome back to the show, Nate Bargatze. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm so... Thank you. Hey, Bear. Hello, folks. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy the reason you're in New York, uh, you're hosting SNL. Yes. This is such it's, a blast. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's insane, dude. It was like, it's almost when they, when they ask for you, are like, I don't know if I'm famous enough to do that. Like, you want to, <laughs> almost I want to tell them that. They're yeah. like, we're going to get you. I was like, ah, guys, I appreciate it, but... <laughs> There's some other people I think y'all should go yeah. after. You're uh, like, your show has a legacy. You yeah, don't want to yeah. mess around You're with that. You're SNL, dude. I go, I, look, I, 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 thanks for the offer, but I, you know, I'm doing you a favor. You've played, uh, obviously, you played New York City a ton. You've played big rooms in New York City yeah. a ton. Uh, how are the nerves on, on Tuesday here? Uh, so far, it's good. This was the first day. I mean, you know what? I got, they called me Sunday, and uh, I got a, about a, like a sketch idea. And I was like, oh, man, it's, like, happening. Like, it was Sunday. Yeah. And then, then Monday, you come in. And, I mean, you're really, I'm really waiting for them to be like, we're not going to air this. <laughs> like, they're, like, I'm just some trial show. that They're like, we just wanted to make sure the cameras worked. <laughs> Someone back, like, Vin Diesel's backstage. And I'm like, is he on it? And you're like, what's he doing? You're like, don't worry about him. He just doesn't he like just, doing dress yeah, anymore. Yeah, so, yeah, and yeah. you're like, these are a lot of Vin diesel -y type sketches. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can sell these, dude. Uh, I will say, uh, when I was there uh, on the writing staff, the greatest feeling was when a stand-up would show up because you knew they would handle their own monologue. Do you? Is that safe to assume that you were going to write your yeah. own monologue? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's the only thing I can do. That's yeah. good. Like, uh, it, the, I ran it last night. It was great because I got a like. You know, I've been on the road, so it's like you're doing an hour, and then so last night I came in. And our, yes, last night I ran around uh, and did spots and, you know, try to figure it out. The one idea I thought I was going to do, it's kind of changed. And so then you're like, you're just kind of trying to figure out the, you know, rough eight minutes or so that we're going to work. Do you, when you run around New York City, so you're going to different clubs, you're doing spots, do you let them know, hey, I'm going to be doing this on Saturday at SNL? Do you give them that preface? Yeah, yeah. We, I, the, the host said, I mean, I, like, I don't know if I go up and go, this will be on SNL. <laughs> and then they go... I would, just to go, just so you know, this is on Saturday Night Live this Saturday. Uh, it's, we, you do, I mean, I remember following a lot of comics that would come in and uh, run in for a spot, and so it's very cool. You do want the audience to know. I would do it with late night sets when you'd run those to be like, just tell them this is what I'm doing so they, the audience understands you're doing five minutes or eight minutes, whatever it is, it's, yes. it's height, it's just a little different feeling. Uh, but you have to get back into the New York rhythm, like the, New York rhythm, because when I lived here, it's very, you know, it's like quick. It's like you got to be just on top of them. And, you know, instead of like these, when you do a long show, it's like a little more. And so, I mean, I, I, mean, I had to like, it, I did five sets. And it, was, it took me a good three just to get back into New York. I, it, one of them did not go good. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, so funny because people will say to me sometimes, oh, my God, I can't even imagine what it's like to go on stage and do an hour. And you're like, weirdly, it's easier than doing five. Yes. Because an hour, they get to know you. They, you know, they realize they're not seeing the best five yeah. minutes first. But when yeah. you've got to do five, they're like, wait, this is the five? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> you go, you're doing that this Saturday. I got to <laughs> get a couple of that. <laughs> they're going, you're doing this on, all right. And they're Whoa. like, honey, I think we can wake up yeah. early on Sunday because yeah, yeah. we're going to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> People would just tune in for the sketches. They're like, we're watching sketches. Like, well, that's the worst I'm at. They go, they're like, that's, but we've seen this other. So, now a lot of people might think you're uh, you're flying high uh, because you're hosting SNL, but you had a, an allergic reaction in uh, yeah. Wichita. Was this before a show? This was an hour before the show. Okay. I I try to go running, try to do the right thing for my <laughs> dumb body. That's what's infuriating because you go, I'm doing what you're, I'm supposed to do, man. And then your body falls. Like, I don't, ever, I don't remember ever being allergic to anything. And you, I guess you just get old and weak. <laughs> and you can't handle air. And... So this is, you posted a photo of yourself. You yeah. look pretty, uh, yeah. 
Was it mid-run that you realized it was happening? Or? We did. We, we were having to do two laps. So it was mid-run. We go back. Those and, are those mile laps? Yeah. yeah. Those are, my, uh, my, <laughs> goes, is, uh, we do uh, two laps around the bus. And <laughs> it's a big bus. It's a big bus. <laughs> yeah. So we, uh, I go back. My hands start itching. My feet are itching. And they, it's Wichita, which has some of the most allergies. Like it's a, you know, most people are some strong people. Yeah. They gotta, they're breathing and that stuff. And it was like ragweed. I guess it just hit me wrong. So that goes up. I mean, we're an hour before the show, and it's like this. I was like, I, this is not good. And so then the, my buddy's like, you should take Benadryl. But I was like, that's gonna make me fall asleep. Yeah. You know, I don't want to take it. We got an EMT came down, and he was a super nice guy. Bless his heart. But it was his first day. Yeah. <laughs> and so, he was not. He doesn't have the stuff for this. Yeah. <laughs> And so he just came <laughs> by in. By the way, that's a different person. It's a different person. Yeah. And so he came in and was like, I don't know, you know. And then <laughs> he didn't know, like, you know, if you work at a arena, you don't know who everybody is. Sure. And so he comes down there and then he goes, uh, so your name's Travis Matthew? Because I have a shirt on. <laughs> yeah. It's just a sh it's just the brand. <laughs> and I just said, yeah, I just went with it because it's, I what am I going to go into a whole thing about you know I was like just right yeah Travis Matthew you know if he'd been like I'm I'm Ralph Lauren I am that's my friends call me Polo so I'll just do whatever that guy said and that's then, weirdly the most insulting thing is he thought you were a guy who would just have your own name yeah that into my shirt so we ended up getting another doctor came. Dr. Sean, it goes by first name only, doctor, so that's... Uh, those so are the guys you get at venues right before a yeah. show. They're like first name doctors. Those are you gonna be like, where's the bottle for these pills? <laughs> and there's just no bottle. Because <laughs> it's all, he goes, I got a few things down here. <laughs> and you're hey, like, Dr. Sean doesn't like follow up questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, goes, he goes, Dr. Sean. <laughs> I go, Can I see your ID? He goes, I left it in the car. <laughs> uh, but he he was very nice too, and like he gave, and I ended up having to take Benadryl. Then I fall asleep, and so then I had to get my assistant. I was like, you gotta wake me up, dude. Like if I fall asleep, and I fell asleep hard because of Benadryl. And then I did, a, and I got up, and I mean I was within eight minutes of being the most asleep. <laughs> I was just in front of six thousand people. <laughs> And did you, uh, were you cognizant of that whole act of like, I am out of it? Or did you, once you got in front of the audience, did it kind of lock in, like muscle memory? Yeah, it, it went in. You know what? The show was great. I almost think it was uh, a lot more freeing. Like, I was all, you know, I'm on Benadryl. <laughs> I'm like, I'm up there like, we're having a pretty good time. And I'm like, folks, like, you know, nice and easy, you know? <laughs> my, my wife told me, because I, I was telling her this, and she said, uh, because you were worried about being nervous on Saturday Night Live, and she was like, well, if you can do this, you might be all right. Like, yeah. just, to get, just to wake up and then go talk to 6,000 people. Yeah. But they were awesome. I will tell you after, if between dress and air, uh, you'll know dress didn't go well if Lauren goes, maybe some Benadryl? You yeah, wanna... yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, a whole bottle. Of it. He goes, I've heard Benadryl helps. Dr. Sean's there. I go, how'd you find him? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, trust me, Lauren's yeah. got a bunch of Dr. Yeah. Sean's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, you're, you mentioned your wife. I've always talked about it. Uh, I'm so uh, such a fan of the material you do about her on stage. Um, she does not seem to be someone who puts you on a pedestal based on the material you oh. do about it. Is she excited, though, about uh, Saturday? Uh, very excited. This one's very exciting. I mean, we've been together before I ever started comedy, so it's, you know, I think that's a, a big reason for that. And... Uh, but she's very excited about Saturday Live. This, this, this is definitely something. It really is crazy. It's, I mean, I can't even describe. Like, you just are really shocked that I'm even here. Uh, and so everybody has been. Everybody's super excited. She's a big fan of the Foo Fighters, as I yes, am. So that's like, an that's, exciting thing as yeah. well. Yeah. She, that was probably her most excitement. Was that? Like, right. I feel like that's what impressed her. Yeah. I didn't even choose. Like, I went in and I go, I like the Foo Fighters. <laughs> It's just, it's the first time hosting and the Foo Fighters, please. Uh, she heard that, she was like, oh, that's how they can get away with you hosting. Yeah, they exactly. Got the Foo Fighters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be all Dave Grohl in every sketch. You know, I'm just, I'm just kind of on the show. Uh, it's, yeah, so she was, she was very excited. I get a lot of sketch ideas. Do you get. Uh, oh, from like family and. Uh, oh, yeah. Just every, I mean, this is everybody's dream is to somehow have an in. Yes. Because, I mean, I know it, because I've you watch Saturday Night Live your whole life and you're like, I've got a pretty good sketch idea. <laughs> And so then, once you get a friend that's like, 
you know, I'm going to be there. They're like, well, let me let it fly. <laughs> and it's just been texts and emails of just like, run this by everybody. <laughs> like, it's just, <laughs> nobody's a professional writer. It just... Anything helpful or just does it all feel like spam mail? It, it's, it's, it's all, like, I'm going, I'm going through it. I mean, some are like, you know, you're like, yeah, that's funny. And then some of you are like, dude, who do you think we are? <laughs> like, you think I can just walk in and start a live? Professional writers and just be like, hey, my buddy Michael. <laughs> He went to, uh, he took some improv classes 40 years ago. <laughs> and he's got, he's got some good ideas. I like to, I'm, I got him on the horn if y'all want to talk to him. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I, I hope that they do talk to Michael just for that. I do yeah. too, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm so excited. I think everybody's going to be so excited. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much for making time for us on the busy week. You're the you best, guys, man. Nate Bargetti, SNL, Saturday, October 28th, with the Food Fighters on NBC Live on Peacock. Stick around, we'll be right back with Andrew Reynolds.